Today we have for you an audio tutorial with OBS featuring the Wavelength microphone. We've had tutorials in the past covering OBS with specifically recording and streaming. Today will be a purely audio side video featuring the Wavelength microphone and the software that comes with it. So before I get into exactly what this video is going to cover, quick shameless plug. We do stream every night at 7 p.m. EST at twitch.tv slash Rusama. Feel free to check us out, drop a follow, sub to the channel if you like it. But I digress. The five things we'll be covering in this audio tutorial will be number one, setting up your Wavelink inputs with the Wavelink software. Number two, we'll be setting up your audio mixer so that you can individually control any of your audio settings. Number three, we will be adding mic filters and showing you guys how to do that, noise filters and whatnot, noise suppression. Number four, we'll be showing you how to take the music, if you listen to Spotify in the background, out of your Twitch VODs and put those to separate tracks so your VODs do not have any music playing in them when you stream. And then number five, we'll be showing you how to record on different audio tracks so you can edit all of your audio separately in your preferred editing software. All right, so for the first part of this, with setting up your Wavelink input, you're going to open up the Wavelink software, which is called Wavelink. <clears throat> Down here, you can see it's the, uh, you know, the audio lines in the taskbar. And it's going to pop up something kind of like this. I believe when you first install it, it does have a couple things here. But essentially, what you're going to do here is you're going to put in any channel that you'll be using. So you're going to see one of these where it's like channel seven, click the plus, and then anything that you'll be using is what you're going to put here. So I use Discord, obviously play games, music, aux, I use for a miscellaneous thing, and then browser is for like Google Chrome, Firefox, whatever you might use. Um, Discord isn't going to show up as Discord, it's going to show up as voice chat. It's going to be wavelength voice chat. You can rename it. I use Discord. Most people use Discord. But if you use Zoom or something, maybe you're not using it for, you know, gaming or anything like that. You need Zoom meetings or something. Name it to Zoom. Whatever you want to name it. After that, after you have all your channels set up, which is as easy as just clicking and then clicking which input you're going to use. Um, if you don't want an input, drop down, remove input. Simple as that. But after you have all of your inputs set up, you're going to click the three little hamburgers up here, the three little bars, like a hamburger setting. It's going to open up your system settings. Now for this, you're going to have your outputs set to whatever headphones you're using. Your input is going to be set to your mic in for your Wave 3. And then through here, whatever you're using is going to be set to that input. If it does not have an input, in the software, you can just do it from here and you can leave the software input to default. So for Google Chrome, it's easier to just switch to the Wavelink browser in here than going into Google Chrome and switching to Wavelink browser. A little overcomplicated, a little rambly there. You just switch your Google Chrome, your Firefox, whatever you're using in here to your Wavelink browser. If you're using any music like Spotify, you're going to set it in here. So we have Spotify in here. We're going to set this to the Wavelength Music. So now when we play any music, it'll just come straight through to the Wavelength software. If you have any games, you can set your games up in here to the Wavelength Game. But those you will also have to set in-game to Wavelength Game. Um, some I've had, I've had some issues with games to where it can't just be on default. And then I only set it in here um, with Smite for some reason. It... I have to have it set to Wavelength Game in my settings and in game. It doesn't work any other way. Um, I don't know why. It just doesn't. But in something like World of Warcraft, it works perfectly fine. I don't know. Either way, all you would do is you would open up your game, pop in here, switch it to game, and then go in your game's audio settings and then switch that to Wavelength Game as well. So once that's all done, you can close out of this. Now, right down here in Monitor Mix, you're going to switch to, this, to the headset you're using. Simple enough. Now, these buttons down here are all for what you want to hear and then what you want your stream to hear. So, I obviously don't want to hear myself talking, so I have this turned off, but I would like OBS or the stream to hear me talk. So, I have it on stream. All these, you kind of just play with. 
you know, obviously I want to hear my own Discord, but I don't want them to hear Discord, so on and so forth. These, I would recommend just turning off stream on each one of these because it'll duplicate audio in OBS with the way we're going to set this up. So personally, I would have this set to stream and then I would have everything else just set to your headphones just to start out. And then if you can't hear something, you're going to turn on on stream. Simple as that. Now into OBS with your audio settings. We're going to open your audio mixer and we're going to set your mic. First thing we're going to do, bottom right here, we're going to go to settings. Then we're going to go to audio. And then right here, we don't have to have any desktop audio set if you have the wavelength. If you do not have the wavelength, you're going to set this to your headphones. Simple as that. Um, if you have anything that uses audio tracks, um, you can set it here as well, most likely. Not sure. Don't have an XLR mic. I do apologize. But you're just going to set your mic to your Wavelength stream. That's all you're going to do. Now your Wavelength mic is set up. You're going to hit OK. And now you should look somewhat like this. Obviously, you're not going to have the scenes. Um, and I made all my sources into a file. You don't got to worry about that. Clean slate here. It's all you should have popping up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our sources on our main scene. We're going to right click add. We're going to add an audio output capture. And then you can name this whatever you want. Um, first, we're going to do browser. Okay. And then right here. We're going to go under, instead of doing default, we're going to look for browser. So right here, Wavelength Browser. We're going to hit OK. So now, if I were to start playing something in Google, it would start playing right here. All right, I'm going to start playing one of the videos off my channel, and you're going to see the browser light up as if there's audio in the background. I do have it set fairly low, so you might not be able to hear it. So now we know it's working. That's just me playing a YouTube video off of my channel just to test it really quick before we move on to the next thing. So now we're going to right click. We're going to go to add again, another audio capture device. And then we will call this one game. We'll do our game sound next. All right. We're just going to look for game. Wherever it might be. Right here at the top. There we go. Now I'm not going to open a game because we know this works just by putting it in because we... Did the setting again this is the one where you might have to play with it a little bit make sure it's set to wavelength game in your settings and then in the games audio settings right click we're going to add we're going to add another audio output and we're going to call this one discord you could also call it voice chat zoom whatever you would like hover down the default and then we're going to click voice chat again okay we just got a couple more to add here um, my next one would be music. And we're going to do the drop down and then we're going to look for our music. So I think I passed it. It's right at the top. Perfect. And now let's just open this up and see what else we got here. It looks like we have everything. So we have our microphone, our voice chat, our game, our music, and then our browser. And then again, if you would like to add in the aux, if you do use the aux for anything, again, you can just add another audio input, name it aux, you know, one through whatever you're using, and then you can go here to aux one. I am not going to do that, and I actually going to delete that because I don't need that because that one is actually set to my headphones. Now we're going to open this up a little bit just to make sure we got everything down here. And it looks like we do. Another thing you could do for your microphone, instead of setting it to the mic in stream, you could right click here, go to add, and then add the audio input capture, and then name it, you know, wave three, whatever you have, and then set it to, you know, either the wavelength stream, your webcam if you're using that, your headset microphone, or you're just wave three. That is another way you can do it. I prefer just to do the stream one. It's one less setting down here. And that just works for me. But it works the same either way. It does not matter. So we cancel that. We're going to delete that. And now 
just a little tidbit just to keep your OBS a bit cleaner and neat. Um, if you highlight these four, right? So all I did was left click and then shift left click on the bottom one, right click, you can group selected and we can just call it audio. That way now we have a folder, it's nice and neat. Now I have all my main sources here and then my audio sources right here. Quick and simple. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up filters. So you can find your mic slash aux or whatever you have it named and click the three little dots down here by it. And you're just gonna click filters. Now you're here. So you can either right click or click the little plus down here. And first we're gonna add a noise gate. In my opinion, this is the most important one. If you have a noisy household, you got pets, you know, constantly dropping things, whatever your situation is, this will stop your mic from activating unless the sound hits a certain level, and then it will close when it hits another level. So I have mine set up to about 70 on the close, and then about 43 negative, sorry, negative 70 and negative 43 on the open. I don't change the attack time the whole time or the release time. I don't think it's important. This is something you do need to mess around with because depending on your area, your situation, if you got cars in the background, if you constantly have people in the background, whatever it is, this is something that will be unique to your audio. So play around with this one. This is definitely one you want to spend 10, 15 minutes on, have someone go into another room, start dropping things. You know, have your little brother, sister, girlfriend, wife, whatever, do the dishes and see if them doing the dishes is picking up your microphone, have somebody start vacuuming. Do something to see what procs your mic and what does not. With that, we're going to go back to add. And now this isn't something I currently use anymore. I did use it, but now my NVIDIA SDK isn't updated for it. So we're gonna go to noise suppression. Just gonna hit okay. When I did use it, I used the RNN one. Perfectly fine, worked great. I just don't currently have a need for it. Um, I don't have any you know, low cut noises through my mic or anything like that. Um, and then Wavelength also has a setting for it, which since we're talking about filters, we'll actually pull that up really quick. So if you go into here and then you find your wave three and click this little drop down you actually have some audio enhancements. You can enhance a low cut filter and the clip guard. Highly recommend turning both of these on. Works wonders. So we're just gonna close that back out. Um, if you do have this SDK and it's updated and everything, go ahead and use it. I personally don't. But the last one we're gonna add is we're gonna add a gain. Now this one isn't needed at all. Again, it depends on your situation. If you talk super low, if you're super quiet, or you have, you're forced to be quiet, gain might help where you can't, even if you have your audio mixer down here cranked all the way up, sometimes it might just not be enough. All right. Taking any specific audio track or more specifically music out of your Twitch fonts is probably the easiest thing we will do in this video. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the bottom right here. You're going to go back to settings and we're going to go into output. Now in output under streaming, we're going to look for the audio tracks. We're going to make sure Twitch VOD track is set. This will make sure we have a separate track specifically for our VODs that will go straight to our VODs and whatever we have set in that track will play through. Whatever we don't, will not. And then audio track one. Nothing else you need to do here. This doesn't determine how many tracks you have. OBS only has six tracks uh, by default. Don't know if you can get more. We can figure that out in a later video. But this is what you need to have set. This is the most important part here. Okay, so you'd set it to one and then set it to two. We're gonna close this. You would hit apply, close it out. Now, anywhere in your audio mixer, you can just right click and then advanced audio properties. This is gonna pull up all of your tracks. So now we have our track one, which is gonna be our main audio and our track two, to, which is going to be our Twitch VOD audio. And as you can see right here, I just unselected music. It's as simple as that. You will no longer have music in your Twitch VODs. 
if you ever wanted to watch YouTube videos or something while streaming on Twitch and it's, you know, a lecture or something from your college, you don't want other people to hear it because you think you might get in trouble, you can do the same thing with browser. You can go over here, uncheck it from browser, uncheck it from your main track, and now it's not going to play through OBS at all. Um, again, you can also just mute your browser in OBS with the previous audio inputs we set up or outputs. I get them confused. But other than that, going into recording on separate audio tracks, it's the same thing. So right here is everything you need. Follow the previous step and then come into here. And as you can see in here, I'm sure you've been looking at it for a minute now. Audio track one is just all of my audio put into one. So for a video like this, which I'll show you later, I just use this track. I'm not doing anything fancy with the audio. I don't need to. So this just stays like this. And then I delete the other four tracks. I know I said four, not five. It'll make sense in a moment. So as you can see here, audio track one is my main audio. Audio track two is for my Twitch pods. I keep adding things on my fingers. Number three, we have just my mic. So audio track three, when I pull it into my editing software, will be just my microphone. So I can delete track one. And then I have my microphone isolated. I can take that wherever I want, edit it however I want. Audio track four, I have my voice chat, which is going to be my Discord. Could be your Zoom, whatever you want it to be. My five is going to be my game audio. And then my six, I have Blurp, which is the thing that just plays noises in my ear on stream. And then my browser source, which is going to be my Google Chrome. This way, when I pull things into my editing software, which I will show you right now, it just comes up as a bunch of different audio tracks. Simple as that. There are only five here. I know there's six tracks. This will not pull in my Twitch VOD track. It will not do that. That is separate. That goes straight to the Twitch VOD. That does not get recorded or anything like that. Specifically for streaming. So, you know, in DaVinci, I would unlink the clips here. And now, if I, if I was doing anything weird with my audio, I would delete this first clip and then edit whichever audio I plan on editing. However, since we're just doing this video... We just delete those four, and now we have all the audios right here, ready to go in the one track. Simple as that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I know it was a longer video this time. Audio is kind of a big thing. Uh, it annoys a lot of people. Make them click away from your video really quick. Make them click away from your stream really quick. So it needed to be this long. I'm sorry. I wish it was under 10 minutes. I really do. But it needed to be done. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more. If you think I need to clarify on something a little bit better, please leave a comment down below. I would be happy to answer any questions. I do plan on making an updated video to this one later in the future, maybe the next OBS update, currently we're on 29.0.0. Or if there's just a bunch of stuff I missed, if there is, please do tell me. I would love to revise this video a month from now and give you guys even more information and hopefully I can present it in a better format if this one was unsatisfactory. But other than that, you know, we stream every night, 7 p.m. twitch.tv slash Rusama. It was on the screen at the beginning of the video, It'll be on the screen again now. Make sure to stop by. We're playing Smite. Surger just released. We're back to playing Tarkov on the 27th. We have the Dead Space remake. I can't wait for that. Um, that'll be a purely stream video. Um, or recording, whatever you want to call it. stream. I will be streaming Dead Space, the remake. I will not be throwing that on YouTube. You might see some clips here and there, but that'll be a strictly stream thing. Um, and we got a couple other kind of events coming up in the works. We have a new 30 day challenge that'll be coming out in the next couple of days that we'll be starting. Um, got a couple ideas in the works for that one, but uh, you know, we'll see. You guys will see uh, coming up in a couple of days. So remember, leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you want more, notification bell, all that fun stuff. Check out the stream. Love you guys. Hope you have a great 2023.